Welcome back away to Let's Play Kanoa Beach Volleyball. So, I decided to take a little break from doing all the stuff we've been doing thus far with all of the... What's his stats? His attack isn't even maximum? Oh my god. Huh, I never realized the guns actually hit the ball harder. Why would you not tell him not to have the hardest hit? Anyways. <laughs> that aside. So I decided to take a little bit of a break from doing only championship mode. Mostly because I only have one episode left this recording session as opposed to two on I do each character playthrough in two parts. So, I'm gonna play around a little bit in this mode. Um, I guess I should probably be someone that isn't just throwing on tat this time, maybe. I'm having a lot of fun being them though. They're kinda of my go-to pair. Here I am. Let's do it. And I kinda wanna save the courts, the extra courts for later. Because it feels like it would be a cool, dramatic, big thing to finish with. So let's have some fun. I'm well, not here again. Let's not have some fun with the different. Oh, I didn't realize I had different game speeds. Let's try different game speeds. There you go. Like, they're giants. They're slow giants. Also, you can have lots of really long games, like 30 games of 5 sets. 150 points minimum for someone to win. That'd be beautiful. Kids mode, I probably won't show that, whatever the simple mode for children is. I uh, feeling it won't be entertaining. It's probably just like press a button, hit the ball. Something like that. It's probably explained in the manual, but I don't have the manual for this game. Oh my god. Oh man, I need to play as- I need to have Nato involved with this at some point. Oh no! The timing is so different. It's gonna throw me off so much. It's gonna make the game a lot easier. Oh, is the music slower too? Oh no! Yeah, I need to see Nato in this mode. It would feel so right. I want to see if I can actually take on a level 2 opponent like this. I mean, I can return a hard hit from triple in this mode. Oh wait, I'm on, I actually am on level 2 AI yeah, now I think about it. I had forgotten about that. What? Yeah, I didn't set the AI to level 1. So I am actually against level 2 AI. Look at that. Ah. Ball didn't go the way I thought it would. Alright, well, try that then. See if I can actually manage this game if it's in slow motion so the reaction speed part's taken out. Which is most of the game, honestly. This is probably half speed. Yeah, so I actually have the reaction time to do stuff like that now. Come on, guys, please. Score. Someone score a point. There we go. It's bound to happen eventually. Of course, it doesn't help that Lorena and Tat have the lowest attack of anybody in the game. Both of them. So there's a little bit of a disadvantage having them as a pair. So I just love using them as a pair. They're pretty comfortable used together, I think. I do like the detail of slowing down the music, though. It does work, it's just... This game is so aggravatingly slow. It's aggravatingly slow, and something I haven't really... mentioned is that when you play against the level 2 AI on, um... an exhibition mode, like, they never screw up. It's so rare for them to actually have a hole in their... offense. And, yes, I do mean offense. It's so we rare for them to hit the ball weak that... You just don't have opportunities. Look at that. Unless you can go. I guess this would actually be. A, this might actually be a good way to practice. Really? Doing things like blocking. Like, so you can take out the reaction time element. Just to figure out when it is and isn't a good 
idea to try blocking. So you can figure out what situations are good to wait. Situations for certain attacks, whatnot. Like, don't do that, namely. Guys! The so looping in this game is not the best when it comes to music. Yes, I'm gonna end up, I'm probably gonna end up quitting this. Not just out of shame, but also out of not wanting to take forever getting through this. Uh, I was saying the characters would move slowly, not like the whole. That was amazing. The whole game for some reason. What am I waiting for? There's something I wanted to do, I think. I have no idea what it was. Okay, apparently I can't re return anything anymore, anyways. So I think we're good. Wahoo. Okay, so back to the drawing board. Put things back to level 1 AI, <laughs> preferably. Because playing against level 1 after all the level 2, uh, playing against level 2 AI after doing such level 1 AI is a little tough. Ooh, eh, that's not a bad combination. Lolo's receive stat is amazing. Uh, whoever. Like, well, no, I I do need to do this. Oh, oh no. I need to have Natome be here with. Not to be in the palace, but with the. I don't remember any enemy being called that. With the large characters. Easy, please. <laughs> oh. Let's see what comes with this. This will be fun. I just want to see Nahatome at a proper size. Also, I guess this will give me a better idea of how largeness actually affects the game. Yeah, see, that's the size that Nahatome ought to be. Large Pulpa looks weird, though. It feels so wrong seeing Pulpa big. Most of these characters, for that matter, but I can live with Nahatome. Look at that, I got two squares, so I should have gotten one. Very freaking random luck making life easier for me. I don't really want to play a whole match like this for some reason. Now I just kind of want to... Okay. Have I ever seen the AI do that? This is easy. Also, nearly every... What are you guys doing? It's such a mess of stuff. Alright, so with one exception, the top left, every hole on the square grid is... What? Lola did not hit that ball. I refuse to believe that. The ball's just going everywhere in the mass of the bodies of Garland and uh, Atom. I want to see the taunts these two have. Uh, Lola and Pulpka. I don't think I've seen it before. How about this? Oh, yeah, I forgot that was the. I forgot. I wasn't sure what Pulpka's special attack was. I can't quite remember. It's that odd thing. Done. That was fun. Anyways, I wanted to see, what was it? I just wanted to see the taunts. Oh yeah, I didn't look at what any of uh, Garland's taunts were, that's unfortunate. The only one I haven't looked at the taunts that I want to play as real quick and just see what they do. I don't think I know either Lola or Pupka for that matter. So we're gonna have these two again. They didn't really need to actually show what the uh, other place looked like, but whatever. And I think I showed this already. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> it's out a funny sound. Let's have a funny sound. 
I don't want a funny sound. That might be too much at once. Like, I want to I want to have lots of new stuff at once once I get to the later levels, or once I get to the later episodes where I've already completed all the. Uh, I'll explain this plan as I go. Actually, after I complete all the characters in the championship mode, I plan to have a few extra episodes where I just go through exhibition and show all the unlockable stuff. And I want to save a lot of unlockable stuff for when I do that. That's why I'm saying the unlockable courts for. So I'm gonna hold off on this stuff a little bit. So I'm just gonna try to see what all the taunts are. Aha. So Polka says very unintelligible things. And sometimes does that. Oh man, look at that! Lolo beam that thing straight forward. Also, when their opponent is serving, it's the perfect time to do that sort of thing. Yeah, so that's what those are. I just wanted to see. Can I have a comeback? I'd like to make a comeback. I haven't played as Easter in a long time. Let's see what I can manage. They're not a bad team, and both have pretty nice stats. They don't really have any pitfalls, either of them. Remember, Pupka has really nice speed. And I only checked, like, just this episode. Of course, that, wasn't, that won't help you doing the wrong thing like I did, outright. But it'll still help in certain ways. Of course, if they get the right square, they're immediately gonna have... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, if they got the right square, they would have... Well, one of the two right squares would have had a six point special attack, and that would have been. That would have put me at match point immediately. Or then at match point, rather. Still. This works. Oh, I mean, that works too. Is that what I meant? Okay. Spike, please. Ooh, look at Garland. Getting fancy with it. And look at me getting two points. Getting uh, two squares and just instead of just one. Look at that, okay. So let's win by a lot. Let's let Lolo win with the power of love. See, she doesn't miss the ball entirely. Like that. Lolo, you are useless! That's kind of in character. That is something she would do. Well. Whatever. Ah! Whoa, whoa! God! How useless can you be at once? There we go. Okay. Why? That net looks like it's made out of metal or something. I guess not. It's just colored. So to say, it's really bouncy. Yes, I know you're the MVP, Popka. <laughs> kind of hard not to be with her around. Okay, so that will be it, however, for tonight's episode of Let's Play... Little Beach Volleyball. See you guys next time's episode when we run off to Nats Home, I suppose, actually. Looks like our last unlockable character is going to be Super Garland. Huh. See you guys. We have more and more I mean, fun gameplay, I suppose, but we'll have some more funny endings to each story, too. No. Oh, I didn't ask for this. Oh. Oh, but it's, it's going to be the same game as last time, though. I was so happy to see Clona and Lolo against Lyrian and Tap before, but it's going to be the same as before. It's a... They're two pairs I appreciate, but... Yeah, so let these guys have their own fun in peace. Where can you leave them be? Bye, guys.